everybody before i start the video i just really wanted to say thank you so much for 1.26k subscribers and really thank you so much for 10k views on my last video so i know i've been gone for about five months and that's just due to all the stress levels i really had really recently managing sports two sports actually and school and i'm in all honors classes so you know the workload just kind of got a lot for me so i just decided to take a quick break from youtube to focus on my studies so this video i'll be making a tote bag um, and I will have these on my business, which I'll put up right now. And I'm just going to show you guys how I made this tote bag. And please support my business. Okay, so I drew these letters out on my iPad. And I printed them out and cut them out. Because I usually draw all of my designs on my iPad. Which you guys will get to see in the next video when I make my Nike Brown um, vintage tote bag. Which you guys will get to see. And I know you guys will just amazingly love it um but this video i'm just showing you really how i just start this process so i get my paints out and that's my dog um he has dermatitis on his paws that's why he has a cone on so i'm just really gonna place um the letters of my name onto the bag um and if you buy from me from my business it'll be your name so this is really custom bags they're really custom to anything you want i can really do any type of design you want on a tote bag and you just fun summer um coconut girl tote bags and i'll definitely make a video later on coconut girl essentials because i definitely am very intrigued by the coconut girl aesthetic so i'll definitely make a video on that so um i'm just really spelling out my name on my tote bag and i'm putting it in the position i want i'm definitely gonna put it in like a curve almost and i'm just like separating the gap into spaces to make sure it's nice and even i'm not really using the ruler i'm just really handing it out so now I'm done, really. Um, I can't use the other eye until I like draw it out, but now I'm just kind of spacing it out, making sure it's everything's where I want it to be. And yeah, it's pretty much what I'm trying to do right here. So I finally get the final um, space where I want my name to be. So I'm getting ready to finally draw it out. So I put the pencil around and used, as I said before, the letters as a stencil. So now I have my name and pencil on it so I can get ready to paint it. Next, I'm going to be using this flower that I also drew on my iPad as well for this design. Um, and you can also order this design on my Depop as well. Um, there's plenty of other designs I'm going to be posting soon. So once my paint and more tote bags come so you can definitely get your name on one of these it's not going to be my name on yours i promise it's going to be custom your name and then the flower so yeah so i finished painting it out um i decided to go with like a peachy type of orange type of vibe and a pink and yellow so now i'm going to do my sister's as well because she wanted me to make one for her once she saw mine and that wasn't the full final effect it's just not dry yet so that's hers i decided to go with a dark purple and a dark blue with a darker yellow and then with me i decided to go with a peachy orange and a pink with a light yellow so we almost have complete opposite bags and i think they're really really adorable they're like matching in their own different ways her favorite color is purple my favorite color is pink um they're not really fully dry yet but when they're fully dry they'll look a lot smoother um i definitely have um pictures in my thumbnail of the bags when they're fully done but i'm just really amazed on how they turned out i really love it um, I'll definitely be selling this design on my Depop, so make sure to go check that out. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for me and my dog, and I'll see you guys in the next one.